what's up tribe and welcome back to my channel i literally didn't realize that i didn't even start or introduce this vlog so here that is if you're new here my name is mariah and if you are a long time subscriber then welcome back let's go ahead and roll into this week's vlog so guys we had a pretty nice uh weekend with our friends uh we just really just hung out played games talked and it was really 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 nice and then jeremy like did some yard work and stuff like that but today matt just has not been feeling well over the last few days and i was hoping that it would kind of start going away or it would be one of those things that would kind of self-resolve because the weather has been changing a lot lately he's on the floor now interacting with Doug dog hair dirt all that type of stuff we are going from the heat of the outdoors to the air condition of inside so i was taking like all these factors into consideration as to why he might you know be feeling a little off because he is still playing still laughing till all that type of stuff but he has started to wheeze and started to cough so i uh called his pediatrician and they don't have any appointments for today so i'm going to wind up having to take him to urgent care which opens in about another hour and a half yeah i'm just gonna take him over there and have him seen while he's still playing he's definitely like more fussy and more clingy than he normally is and i can understand why he's never had a cough so he doesn't understand what what that is he just knows that it's uncomfortable so i'm going to get ready in a bit here to take him to urgent care because i want to get there as soon as they open up that way we can be pretty much the first in line to be seen hopefully because i believe it is quite a drive if i'm not mistaken let me see it's crazy our pediatrician is only like 12 minutes from us but urgent care is much further yeah it says if i leave right now that urgent care the closest one is going to be an hour away which to be honest with you, like if I go all the way to Philly, it's going to be even longer just because of the fact that I have to drive all the way down there, drive through the city, and then I still have to find parking. And I know how chaotic the hospital in Philly gets the children's hospital. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to get ready to go and it's going to take us at least 48 minutes to get there. I will update you guys on what happens with that and I guess I will check in with you a little bit later. I had some plans today to do like some filming and some editing but all that has to be you know put on back burner. I'm hoping that it's nothing too serious or severe and something that is easily resolvable but in any event I will update you guys and let you know. All right guys so we are here and uh it doesn't look like the parking lot's too full. I'm gonna go ahead and before it gets any later we got here about 20 minutes later than I really wanted to but I'm gonna go ahead and go in and hopefully they're accepting walk-ins right now and I will let you know how it goes. So we're back. As you can hear, Rain is still coughing. Um, probably he's coughing a lot more than when we were there. It always tends to happen that way. It's like you take them in to the ER or urgent care and suddenly all the symptoms vanish. Um, but they did manage to hear some of the wheezing. The pediatrician did. Um, it sounds so bad. And he's never been sick, by the way, so he doesn't even realize like all of this coughing that he's not controlling because he does fake cough. Um, but none of this has been fake coughing. But I told them that he did have some labor breathing last night. They said to definitely be on the watch and on the lookout for that. If any of that continues, basically bring him back. That wait in the freaking urgent care was darn near two hours just to wait to be taken back uh, to weigh him and everything. And the visit itself went relatively quickly. It was about 30 minutes-ish at the most. She basically told me that he has bronchiolitis and that from what I'm describing he's probably on about day three and she said anywhere from that three to five day period is when it gets the worst so she said expect the worst to be approaching and it's something that we're just gonna have to wait out nothing was prescribed and she told me now that there's really nothing to do but 
wait it out and monitor his symptoms and try to keep him as comfortable as possible. The only thing that I am really looking out for and concerned about is the labored breathing, especially at night. He did have that very extreme like rib breathing last night. Also with him obviously wanting to eat less or not at all. Um, he did kind of skip meals yesterday. He hasn't really skipped meals so much today. I am going to probably give him just a little bit uh, more milk and less food because uh, he doesn't seem to be really interested in food all as much. He likes a little bit of it for the texture, but not entirely. So that's going to be our plan. And I'm just hoping that in the next couple of days he starts to feel better because you can definitely tell by his demeanor that he's not necessarily feeling 100%. He's way more, um, which I'm not complaining about this part. He's way more cuddly. Um, he's already cuddly in general, but he's way more like, oh, just lay on me or oh, just touch me or oh, my head needs to be touching your head but he's to some extent a little bit more chill than he normally is and looks kind of dazed out so you can tell that he doesn't necessarily feel his greatest but he's still managing to play and stuff like that like right now he's in his room playing and coughing but I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I ran out of here and the only thing I had was a piece of french toast that's like all I've had that and coffee and a few chocolate covered almonds all day so I'm freaking freaking starving so i'm gonna dig into this parfait that jeremy made which he actually made these yesterday but it has like chocolate granola blueberries strawberries and then the yogurt itself is a almond yogurt i think it might also have some raspberries in here too but it's really 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 good so i'm going to chow down on this he's outside mowing the grass because i was supposed to do that today but obviously i took brain to the doctor so he wind up i guess getting off work at a reasonable time today magically and doing that but when he comes back in i might start uh putting the cabinet locks in because we need to start baby proofing but we'll pretty much see what are you doing what are you doing don't look so alarmed now. What are you doing? Yeah, you can't even figure out how to get out of that spot. Alexa, stop. <laughs> what are you doing, Rain? Hmm? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Move your foot. Good job. Good job. It's okay. You're so close to the wall. You can do it. You do it when I'm not in the room. You can definitely do it. There you go. There you go. Be gentle. Be gentle. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. Harley, back up. Back up. Not in his face. Be gentle. Good boy. You okay? You don't leave that room alone. I know you're going to press the button. Yep. It's not going to work. You're going to wind up breaking it.
so it's the next following day i was not even able to pick up the camera because as soon as i put him to bed last night i started not feeling well so we definitely both are under the weather his wheezing has gone just in and out it's mostly now when he like plays and stuff and he's coughing a little bit less today so the humidifier seems to be working well i did get some um chest rub for him that i'm gonna go ahead and put on him tonight can you get out my hair like can you not can you not? Ow. Let go. Thank you. Good job. Yay. Good job. Yay. But we have been kind of just chilling out today. He slept a little bit more today and yesterday. Ow. He slept a little bit more yesterday and today than he normally does. So that's giving me an opportunity to get some things done, which normally does not happen. At the same time, I'm not 100%. So to some extent, I feel like I can't quite function as well. Ow. I gotta be so rough. Why I gotta be so rough? Ooh, you trying to snuggle? Ah, you trying to snuggle? That head, man, it's like a boulder. It's like a boulder. Oh, don't hit me with it. Don't hit me with it. Hey. Ah. Say, oh yeah. Oh yeah! Say oh yeah! Ah! If you don't stop trying to attack my face. So it goes without saying that I have not done any baby proofing yet. Although we need to definitely get it done. Ow, my ears are starting to hurt now too. It's like all in here, so it's like my throat hurt and my inner ears hurt. Um, my nose is a little bit stuffy, but it's more of like a post nasal drip. Where are you trying to go? Where are you trying to go? I think tonight i might just go ahead and take it easy because obviously my body's isn't at 100 percent, and i don't want to overdo it so probably just gonna do a little bit of work tonight um hey 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 no hands in your mouth don't bite me as you can see this one's a busy body so we're gonna have some play time yeah some play time it's crappy weather out so we were gonna go outside but it keeps raining so we're just gonna hang out indoors for the time being we'll see if i actually get around to this whole baby proofing thing we also finally got our retractable um i think it's like a five a five line clothesline or something like that that jeremy ordered but yeah i got some stuff off amazon i need to get a couple more things waiting for some other stuff to come in the mail but i'll show you guys what i got so guys, it's Wednesday and I've definitely forgot to show you what I got off of Amazon yesterday. If you hear a bunch of um, noise in the background, that is rain. He's on the floor next to my desk playing with some of his toys. But let me show you guys what I got from Amazon. So because he's on the floor so much and he is crawling so much, hey, leave it alone. Mm-hmm, back it on up. Don't, mm, don't touch it. Don't do it. But since he's on the floor so much, I got him some knee pads. We have only hardwood and tile floors, so that can be a little bit hard, especially the tile. But I got some knee pads, so he's got a pair of black. I think he has actually two pairs of black, two pairs of gray, and then a pair of blue. And then I also got him some more hankers for his room. I got him the pants kind, same kind that I got him the last time, um, or almost the same kind, same brand I got him the last time. Only difference is these have an extra hook on them so that I can stack multiple pairs of pants because this closet is getting relatively full, especially with his shorts. And I'm not the biggest fan of the amount of space that the hangers take up just in that bottom section. I could move them to another shelf, but it's like they're short, so I could literally just layer them. Mm, so these are what the hangers look like. Let me do that. That's what the hanger looks like. I actually need to go grab another one because I feel like this one is more rosy. Like they're all rose gold, but this is like more of that pink. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them at this point. Oh, is that all you wanted, huh? To see what's going on? Nope, no keyboard. See, it's boring up here. You can't touch stuff up here. You wanna be up here so bad. You can't touch anything up here. You actually can touch these. You wanna play with this? Look at that, crinkles and everything. Yeah, that made you happy. 
All right, play with that while I get your other hand. So it wasn't me. These are definitely two different colors. I don't know how it is that I ordered the same color from the uh, same manufacturer and they come out two different colors, but I won't have to send these back because these are too pinkish. Of course, I look at my order history and go back to the same pant hangers, the one that I actually am using right now. They don't have them anymore currently. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about this. I really don't wanna have like a bunch of different colors going on in there. I'm gonna maybe try to wait and see if they come back in stock, but these were also pretty expensive hangers too. So like I said, it definitely bothers me that they don't seem to have any more of them available i'm about to see if another retailer has them these are kind of big they do say like infant to toddler though so that's like probably why hey you want to try these out see how you like them all right all right come on let's flip you over real quick Ooh, oh no 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 stay flipped over stay flipped over stay flipped over all right come on come on look 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 what i got you're like, whatever. I'm trying to flip back over. Can you stop trying to flip back over, please? Okay, that's fine, we'll do it fast then. This is for your benefit, it's not for my benefit, it's for your benefit. Cause you can, you see, I know how to walk. You don't know how to walk, so. Ooh, you probably needed the top with thighs, stick thighs. Thick thighs. Thick thighs. Relax. Relax. I know, it's something new, something different. Yeah, I know, I know you don't like new things. Trust and believe, you barely like getting dressed. Can I have it? We're almost done. Just gotta make sure I got it where your actual knee is. Otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. Okay, see? All done. All done. All done. Oh. All done. See? Ooh, you got some chunky thighs. Chunky, chunky thighs. And of course you wanna go get the camera. Let's see how these work out for you. Let's move the camera over here. And let's see. See what you do. Oh, oh, army crawl, army crawl, army crawl, army crawl. And you want to just use your toes and that's it, huh? These keep sliding down a little bit. Maybe I just need to adjust them. So you're definitely, hold up, hold up. Pause. Yep, pause, I said it, pause. All right. Kind of hard to feel where your knee is. You a little, a little chunky. Let's go ahead and do the other one right away. Ouch! I know, I know, I know. You want cuddles? Mwah. <laughs> Done a crinkle toy? Huh? Are 
you like that? You like that? We also ordered a uh, retractable clothesline. Um, I'm just gonna put the picture up here that we'll be putting in later on, probably today. It looks like it might not rain today for a change. Um, so we're gonna put that in today, which is good because I need to hang up the diaper laundry. It actually is gonna rain today. Ugh. So we might wait to do that tomorrow since it's supposed to rain today. But since I know for a fact I'm not gonna be doing that uh, today, the plan for today is literally to try to get back to all of you guys in the comments and to, of course, have our normal playtime and story time and all that stuff. What's up? What's up? You wanna get back up? Come on, reach out. There we go. Yeah, all I need is for you to make the connection. Let me know you want to be picked up. All right. <laughs> Oof. So yeah, I'll probably pick this back up with you guys once we are actually installing this line out here. Oh, somebody needs to go down for their nap. Yeah. Somebody needs a nap. Oh yeah. You ready to take your morning nap? Hmm? I thought we go lay you down for your morning nap. 
I'm gonna try a little bit more. Mm. You all done? Oh, somebody's pooping. Today he had some bananas and uh, this is pears, beets, and apples, I believe, in here. It was just a little bit of bananas on top. And then he finished this jar which had um, peas, spinach, and pear in it. So he's eating a good amount. His appetite has picked back up from him being sick a little bit, which is good. He is drinking less milk, so I'm just gonna, but he's been doing that for like probably two weeks now. So I'm just gonna adjust the amount of milk he drinks. He's gonna go down from six ounces per meal, probably down to five because of the combination of how much food he normally eats. He's not even finishing those bottles a lot of times. And like I said, that's only been happening for the last two weeks. So well on before he got actually sick. But as you can see right now, he's like dumping it upside down and playing with the bottle, which normally happens when he's done. Thank you. I don't want milk everywhere. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Oh, you're going to shimmy, 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 shimmy. But I'm going to go ahead and get him cleaned up and ready for his second round of playtime. And then we'll do a story. So it's Thursday, it's next morning, and I feel pretty crappy. <clears throat> I think I have hit the that tipping point um, to where I'm gonna start feeling better, like maybe by the end of the night slash tomorrow. It's more so the congestion, like I'm so congested and have so much nasal drip right now, but rain has started to feel, I think a tiny bit better, or his symptoms have started to kind of uh, retreat especially with the wheezing. I won't say that he's feeling better. And the reason I won't say that he's feeling better is because he definitely is more snuggly than he normally is. Like he, he does like to be up on me, but it was to the point where like there was no wrestling with him this morning for him to lay down or anything like that. It was just like, as soon as he hit my chest, he was just content to be there, which is one of the main indicators that he's not feeling the greatest because usually even when he wants to be on me he will still be more interested in pulling out my earrings and you know trying to play with my eyelids and all that and there was none of that going on so i can tell that he definitely is not feeling the absolute greatest and neither am i for that matter but i'm hoping that this will be like the final day because what was it when i took him he was she said he was about day three that would make it about day six now so hopefully from here he just gets better i'm going on vacation in a couple weeks so i'm hoping that this does not last much longer because I definitely want us to be up to still go on vacation and enjoy our vacation. It should be fine by then. It's just getting over this hump. Crazy thing is we have not been sick at all. Like I, the last time I was sick was who? It was like way before I was pregnant, I feel like. The last time I was actually sick, like had a cold, a sniffle, really much of anything was before I was pregnant. It's been at least about 18 or 19 months since I've actually been sick, which is a crazy time frame but this is the first time we've both been sick especially being sick together it sucks but that's the update on him and how we're feeling jeremy took a half day today so he's gonna go ahead and hang up the clothesline finally he's taking my car to get washed right now i'm so happy that my clothesline is finally going up i say my because i'm going to be the one using it the most it's ours but i'm gonna be the main one using it but as soon as he gets back he's gonna go ahead and put that up he also bought me a burrito wawa burrito wawa comes through for the win except for they didn't have chicken steak so i didn't 
get my normal breakfast burrito. I'm supposed to be only doing shakes right now, but he asked that I want one. I was like, sure, why not? I'm not feeling the greatest. My stomach's not feeling the greatest. So let me at least put something on it to like absorb all of that like feeling from the nasal drippage. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast. Rain's about to go down for his nap right now. He's in his crib, but he hasn't gone to sleep quite yet, but he'll go back down for his nap. And then you guys will see us again when Jeremy goes ahead and installs the clothesline. About to get this clothesline put up, finally. Let's see where he's at. Yeah, I figured that's like... We're good? I think so. You don't think it'll be a problem like with no. animals walking through here and stuff nah. like that? Okay. I mean, if, if there's clothes out here, which means you're out here, I doubt it. Okay. Uh, how's that? What the height? So, so there's a little bit of a rise here. So I was worried about putting it too low on the tree. Yeah. Um, That's fine. I don't okay. care if it goes like angled up. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm getting the determined look on my face right now too. Yep. Work it. Work it. <laughs> I might have to break out my 10 millimeter. Oh, no, this should go in okay right here. I'd say, ooh, yeah, talk to me dirty in two terms. <laughs> Was <laughs> that for me again, please? Thanks. You're, You're so funny. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. That side's in. There we go. All right. So now I will just go in and get my. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. Well, once I tighten, it should hopefully level out a little bit. I'm gonna go grab my um my wrench. All right. Uh, my ten millimeter wrench. Uh, you should be able to pull that out though. Okay. Alright, moment of truth. You said don't pull up. How is it? Ooh, no. Oh, it's not coming out. Uh oh. I wonder did he test this before he installed it? He's going to be pissed if you can't pull it out. If he's done all of this and you can't even pull it out. So it comes out just like this. Even though this one looks like it's off. Why is this one so loose in comparison to the other ones? This one is definitely like, maybe once I like, retract it all the way, it won't matter. Okay. It's okay. Um, I wouldn't say a little tough. It's not like as smooth as I would like as you were expect it to be, but yeah. I mean, it isn't the worst thing ever. So here's the handle. And that's the little clasp right there. And then you just pull it and it goes underneath. Ooh. I like how they have the handle. It's got a little extra piece on it mm -hmm. just to kind of seat properly in the... Yeah. Yeah, I like it. That's not bad. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute, right? It's good for 40 bucks. Oh, this is only $40? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Not that I feel like it should be that much more expensive. It's just kind of surprising that it's only 40 bucks. Well guys, that's all for this vlog. You already know what to do. If you like the video, make sure you give us a huge thumbs up. I hope you all have an amazing and wonderful week and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.